In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We celebrate the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Jesus shows us the path of life where the fullness of joy lasts forever. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Son of man, your angels watch over us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Son of man, you care for us in our time of need. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Son of man, you gather us from the earth's ends. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we, you, we glorify you. you. We, we give, give you thanks, thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God, Heavenly King, O oh God, God, Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son Lord, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Son, Son of the Father, Father you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Lo, the day is coming blazing like an oven, when all the proud and all the evildoers will be stubble, and the day that is coming will set them on fire, leaving them neither root nor branch, says the Lord of hosts. But for you who fear my name, there will arise the sun of justice with its healing rays. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. The Lord comes to rule the
a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know how one must imitate us, for we did not act in a disorderly way among you, nor did we eat food received free from anyone. On the contrary, in toil and drudgery, night and day, we worked, so as not to burden any of you. Not that we do not have the right. Rather, we wanted to present ourselves as a model for you so that you might imitate us. In fact, when we were with you, we instructed you that if anyone was unwilling to work, neither should that one eat. We hear that some are conducting themselves among you in a disorderly way, by not keeping busy but minding the business of others. Such people we instruct and urge in the Lord Jesus Christ to work quietly and to eat their own food. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, Jesus said, All that you see here, the days will come when there will be not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they asked him, Teacher, when will this happen? And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for such things must happen first, but it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines and plagues from place to place and awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. Before all this happens, however, they will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons and they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. I will lead to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death you will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise Lord. to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> My dear brothers and sisters, we joined the whole church to celebrate the 33rd Sunday of the ESC. We place ourselves before God as we worship, honor, and glorify him in our good words, thoughts, and actions. We are his children, and he is our God. We are coming closer to the end of our liturgical year. Next week, the church will celebrate the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe, the solemnity which concludes our liturgical year. 
It is very interesting to hear Jesus responding to some people who were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings as they are so much taken with the beauty of the temple, Jesus tells them, all that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. In the first reading, Malachi envisions the coming of the day blazing like an oven when the proud and, the all, and all evildoers will be stubble and that on that day they will be set on fire, leaving them neither root nor branch. Both the first and the gospel readings invite us to come to our true senses and become wise in knowing that what is essential in our life and be able to abide with that. Delving into the history of humankind, we may not fail to see how much people have indulged themselves to establish the kingdom of this world in itself. With great arrogance, people have tried to remove God in their lives and think that they will be successful. We have many examples in human history, history where man shows, showed his arrogance to the point of disgusting himself and his fellow people. We have heard the stories of the Tower of Babel in the Bible, Titanic, Roman Empire, the British Empire, where the sun never sets, to mention but a few. We know how much we invest a huge amount of our time and other resources to acquire educations and build up material wealth only to find out that the time has passed by and the old age has invaded us and all what we have accumulated have no much value to us. In summary, this week's scripture readings invite us to root ourselves in God in order to gain that wisdom which will allow us to grow up in full maturity that we have been destined to. Malachi writes in the first reading, but for you who fear my name, there will arise the sun of justice with its healing rays. In the gospel reading, Jesus tells that when we remain in him, though we may experience, we may experience trials and rejections in life, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. That's why Jesus is inviting us to pray in the classic prayer, the prayer of our Father. May your kingdom come here on earth as it is in heaven. In building up God's kingdom here on earth, we will always seek God's will first in doing our life. Our success will be God's success. The motto of our life will be that of the Jesuits, ad majorem Dei Gloriam, which translates, for the greater glory of God. We are called to be humble before God and allow him to guide us in doing our lives, whether in thoughts, words, or deeds. Amen, amen. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
and, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe, I believe in one holy Catholic, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess to one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life, and life of the world, of the world to, come. to come. Amen. Amen. Let us now offer our prayers to God, our Father, in the name of Jesus. That our church may be a living sign of hope, in the reign of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the nations and peoples of the world may put aside mistrust, prejudice, and hatred, and be united under God, the Father of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who fight and suffer for justice may shine like the stars of the sky, inspiring us to follow them in their struggle. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those who are experiencing sickness may continue in hope, aware of the healing presence of Christ in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died in the peace of Christ may experience the fullness of joy in God's presence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, open our hearts and spirits to see your light in the darkness of nights to feel your presence in the most hopeless of hours. Hear the prayers we offer to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord of sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for, for our good and the good of all in his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of the majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the price of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for we know it is it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Douglas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world, and grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery. We humbly implore, ring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your with spirit. You. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go forth in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Stretch!